Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday, the 14th of April, as I posted earlier today, marked the sixth month mark until the end of support for Windows 10 on the 14th of October this year. And as I have been posting over the last couple of months, just to keep you guys informed, that in regards to this, Microsoft has recently posted a blog post yesterday on the 14th of April, letting us know that support for Office 2016 and 2019 will also end on the same date this year, exactly six months from yesterday, the 14th of April. Now, obviously, this doesn't mean that Office 2016 and Office 2019 will stop working on that date. I mean, even Office 2003 still works on Windows 11, as you may well know. But according to Microsoft, they say that on October 14, 2025, support will end for 2016 and 2019. With Microsoft saying that obviously after that date, Microsoft will no longer provide security fixes, bug fixes or technical support for these different products. But as mentioned, they will still work. Just you've got that slight security risk, obviously, without getting any security fixes and updates. Now, just to go through, obviously, a couple of options if you are still on 2016 and 2019. What you can do is you can use Microsoft 365, which obviously means you get the web-based versions of Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and so on. And you get access to OneDrive, which is the free version, which only gives you five gigabytes of storage for free, as you may well know. And this is the version I like to use. I personally don't need more than this. And I think that if you are not concerned about going web-based with all your Office apps and so on, this is a very good alternative. And then a step up from this would be that you get you can get the Microsoft 365 basic plan for $2 per month or $20 per year. And obviously this will be your currency depending on your region. And the recommended by Microsoft obviously would be the Microsoft 365 uh, paid subscription, which includes the native Office apps for Windows and Mac the cloud-based web apps and the mobile office apps and you also get one terabyte of storage space that's cloud storage and you also get the new features and bug fixes for as long as the subscription stays active but obviously if you stop paying you lose access to those apps and it costs $100 per year for one person and we can see $130 per year for a family of up to six people. And obviously, this is just local currency. So that's obviously Microsoft's recommended migration path for obvious reasons. And by the way, just on a side note, I have posted a video on why Microsoft thinks Microsoft 365 is better than Office. Asking you, what do you think? And I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen just to get Microsoft's perspective on the Microsoft 365 side of things. And if you don't want to go cloud-based, you can use Microsoft Office 2024, which obviously is a paid version, but you get the desktop apps without cloud storage or a recurring subscription. It's a, it's a once-off payment. And the good news is obviously it's very similar to Office 2016 and 2019, just with um, upgraded apps and so on and the regular so-called home version only includes word powerpoint and excel while the home and business version adds outlook and OneNote. if you were would be interested and i have posted a video that office 2024 is now available to buy that was posted back in october on the 2nd of october last year that was the day after Microsoft rolled out Windows 11 24H2 and I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen if you'd like some more information. And then you have some other options. So you can try out LibreOffice, which is mostly compatible with the Office um, format to some degree or the other. 
And then we also get Google Docs, as you may well know, which is good for general use cases. But obviously, um, Google Docs is very similar to Microsoft 365, where obviously all your documents are stored in the cloud. So that's just a couple of options. Um, I thought I'd just do a quick overview for you for this video, just to keep you guys in the loop. But six months left of support for Office 2016 and 2019. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.